Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new episode of New Rifles. This week has been really cold in the Netherlands, so it's time to warm you up with some guitars. So we were very happy to receive another Thompson DMA and Thompson is loved by bluegrass players worldwide. They are incredibly light builds. This DMA, the name already says, is mahogany, Adirondack spruce top, beautiful tortoise binding and just built with absolute class. They are so light, so they are also very resonant and really powerful. <laughs> I'm not a bluegrass player myself, but we will make an awesome bluegrass demo of this guitar. So make sure you search the link down in the description and uh, check it out. So the next one is this in remarkable shape 018 from 1949. So 1949 means already Sitka spruce top, rosewood bridge, rosewood fretboard, mahogany back and sides. And as you can see the guitar is in super shape. Um, these guitars are awesome for singing songwriting, blues picking and all that sort of stuff. The bridge is shaved off a little but the playability is still superb so you can play for years and years before you need a neck reset. So the next guitar in the line is, is, is really cool as well. So this is a Gibson reissue from the 1958 Explorer. Corina body, exact replica. And what's so cool is this guitar was way ahead of its time back in the day. So when these were released in 1958, only 19 were shipped out that year. Of course, later on it catched it up really nicely and it's become an iconic model from Gibson. So as custom shop, Expert dealers, we get some really nice guitars from Martin uh, that you don't find with any dealer and that's including this one. So this is a D28, beautiful Embertone finish, uh, based on the 1937 Authentic. But they made some slight changes. Uh, the back and sides for, Indian, uh, for instance are Indian Rosewood. It doesn't have VTS top but it has extra thin Adirondack spruce top. Um, of course the scallop bracing, the beautiful herringbone trim. And also what a big difference is with the standard Authentic is that this guitar actually has a truss rod. So you have somewhat more flexibility than with the standard Authentics. So you can have them like this or even lightly aged, which is really cool too. But this finish is beautiful as well. It's another one of these Bruegers beasts. So this one will get a nice demo too. Right Susie? So last but not least, we have this very nice 1950 LG3. I think we did it in one video before, but that just recapped on the, the whole LG concept. Uh, so Gibson initially launched three different models, the LG1, the LG2 and the LG3. The LG1 was a leather braced LG model, the LG2 was uh, X-braced but sunburst and then the LG3 was X-braced as well and then natural. 
and the express gives a more punch and it gives a bit of a stronger tone whilst the leather brace was more used for the lighter styles and really uh, old blues picking. This is a guitar very popular among singers songwriters because it's, um, it's, it's small but it's powerful and at the same time it's really comfortable to play in any position. You can take it to the... You can take it anywhere. So that was it for new arrivals this week. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I really hope you enjoyed the guitars. As always, let us know which one was your favorite guitar. And if you want to have some more information about the guitars, go to our website and go check out the demos. Uh, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next episodes. Peace out.